welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be talking to you about the third part of our resume series and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how you can improve your resumes. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I decided to use my free Canva account para naman yung mga my free Canva account right now, you will not think na yung ginagawa ko is only for Canva for work users. So, I wanted to include you and so we are going to be creating a resume na free. I chose this from the minimalist resume. So, let's close this and then let's do the steps again para masundan ninyo. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to home. And sa mga nagtataka kung bakit nag-iba na yung itsura ng Canva nila, it's because I think nag-roll out na talaga sa lahat-lahat ng users yung bagong itsura ng Canva. So ito na yung Canva 2.0. If you want to create a new file, you just have to create a design by clicking here. And make sure na nakalagin kayo dun sa account ninyo ha. Kasi hindi kayo makakapunta dito kapag hindi kayo nakalagin. So, just click this and then it will lead you to all the files available. So, again, like I mentioned in the second part of this tutorial, the document area is where we can find resume. So, we just have to click resume and then another window will open. All right, and then I prefer minimalist all the time. So, kung may sarili kayong gusto, feel free to pick uh, a different template. So, we are gonna choose a resume right here. Pipiliin ko lang yung pinili ko kanina na resume. So, it's here. Ayan. So, to choose that, kiklik mo lang siya and then mapupunta na siya dito sa area kung saan tayo mag edit So, para mas makita ninyo, I'm gonna increase this um, magnification to 75%. Maybe I can adjust it to 100% para mas malaki siya sa screen. And my suggestion, this is not yet part of the tips, but make sure you always rename here on top. Um, ano name niya? Marceline Anderson. So, let's say Marceline. Yan. So, resume ganyan. And, eto din siya magiging file name ninyo kapag nag-download na kayo ng file na inedit ninyo. Okay? So, if hindi nyo to pinalitan, magiging untitled siya or kung ano man yung unang line or word na tinipe ninyo, yun yung malalagay dito sa taas. Alright, so, Let's start with the tips already. So, the first one is you have to make sure that you create a clear visual hierarchy. So, anong ibig sabihin ninyo? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun, dapat merong nasa taas, kung ano yung mga pinaka-importante yung bagay, and then, pababa ng pababa. Like dito, mayroon siyang header, professional career. Ibig sabihin, isang area ito siya. Puro about experience. And then, ito naman pangalawa is about education. So, tingin ko itong resume na to is about someone na kakagraduate lang and konti pa lang yung experience. So, um, as we can see, parang three years pa lang siyang nagtatrabaho based on this resume. Alright, and then sa ilalim naman, skills and interests. Kung medyo matagal-tagal ka nang nag-work, and um, nakita mo na sa hiring, yung sa job vacancy na pinost ng client, um, very particular sila sa skills. I would recommend na ilagay ninyo yung skills and interest dito sa taas ng education and history. Kasi, uh, I'm making this video, by the way, for people who are in the freelancing business so or in the home-based jobs business. So, um, my tips will be, more for them than for those who are in the academe or in the corporate world. But of course, you can still um, apply the tips that I'm gonna share with you kapag uh, gumagawa kayo ng resume kahit nasa ang field. Because yung um, mga ibibigay kong tips actually are pretty generic and kapag in-apply nyo siya, for sure, um, maging hit yung resume ninyo. Okay, so the first one. So, when you are in doubt, make sure na you ear on the side of simplicity. So, make a resume na plain and clear. Like ganito, ilan lang ang fonts? One, two, three. 
Yes, only three fonts. And ilang color? One, two, three. And of course, itong white, which is the accent, kasi hindi naman makikita yung gray din dito sa my um, dark na background. Okay? So, um, the thing that I will change here sa resume na to is, eto, hindi pantay yung, yung um, space dito, yung white space dito sa taas at dito sa baba. So, either you adjust it para mapuno na lang siya, ganyan. Or you can adjust it para maging equal sila ng distansya. Ayan. So, be, be very careful with those little things. So, again, um, when in doubt, stick with the simple resume. No bells and whistles. Wala nang ano dito. Wala nang maraming arte-arte or wala nang... In, hindi fiesta yung font. So, um, my recommendation is to only have at most three fonts when you create your resume. Para mas magandang basahin yung resume mo. Because yung mga hiring managers or yung mga recruiters only has little time to browse through your resume. So, you make sure na pagkabukas na pagkabukas nila ng file mo, makukuha mo kagad yung attention nila. Third, Check the spacing, okay? So, I'm gonna show you something. Piliin natin ito. Remember our second part of this tutorial? Tinuruan ko kayo ng spacing. So, look at this. Kunyari, adjust ko. Naka-20 ang spacing, ba? Tapos, gagawin ko tong negative 64. Tingnan ninyo yung mangyayari. ba? mahirap na siyang basahin. So, you have to be very, very careful when you are editing your resume. Make sure na sakto lang yung spacing. So, ibalik natin siya sa 20 kasi maganda na. Very readable. Ayan. Hindi ko na siya mabalik sa 20. Wait. Estimate na lang natin. 20 or 21, that's fine. Or you can go directly here and type pag ayaw naman using the slider. And also, the line height. Ayan. I-select ko siya ulit. And then, you go here sa spacing. Pwede din siyang i-increase, pwede naman siyang i-decrease, okay? So, make sure na sakto lang yung line height para nababasa pa din. So, i-check natin. Dapat pare-pareho yung line height mo para it's 1.5. So, ibalik natin siya sa 1.5 para mas madali siyang basahin. Alright, the next tip that I'm gonna share with you is to stay away from generic descriptions. Kagaya nung nakikita nyo dito na, let's see. Ah, okay pala tong ano. Okay tong mga description for the job. Um, stick away from good organization skills. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? So, as much as possible, if you can mention numbers or if you can mention achievements, that's the best thing to write sa resume mo. Alright, now, I, I want to drive it in. I want to let you realize na dapat short and simple parate. So, if everything can fit in one page, then so be it. Ay, hindi pa habaan ang resume. Ang resume dapat unang tingin, unang basa, in under one minute, dapat na-digest na ng na recruiting manager yung nakalagay sa resume mo. So, tandaan nyo yun. Wala, hindi forever yung time na iaalat ng hiring manager sa pag-dissect ng resume mo before siya mag-decide na i-hire ka niya or he will put you on an interview schedule. Okay? So, um, be concise and include only the relevant information. But if, if hindi nyo maiwasan na magdagdag ng page, here's how you can do it. It's add a new page right here at the bottom and it will start with a blank slate. So, how would you delete this? If sakaling ayaw nyo palang magdagdag ng page, just click on the trash bin and mawawala na siya. Pwede din naman, i-click nyo itong copy para kung ano man yung formatting na nandito sa taas, ganun pa din yung ma mapupunta sa second page. So, just click. Alright. And it will show the second page as the same thing and you can just change the things right here in the body of your resume. Alright. So, the next tip. 
put skill, previous positions, and qualifications just under your name kapag ka nasa taas yung pangalan mo. But of course, if nandito sa gilid, like the example that we are using right now, then dito siya ilalagay. So, mauna dapat yung professional career kapag ka may experience ka na. But if wala ka pang experience, then education history or yung ano mo, um, on the job training. So, yun yung ilagay mo na relevant dun sa ina-applyan mong position. Alright? And then, the next tip is make several versions of your resume and customize it to fit the job that you are applying for. So, if this is a customer service representative resume, you don't want to submit this kung nag apply ka na as ano ba? As a flight stewardess. Alright? So, hindi na ito ang resume na dapat na gagamitin mo to, to apply for that position. So, you have to tweak your resume or mas maganda meron kang nakaredy na resume for every position. Like say, for our industry, kung meron kang resume na uh, ipapasa mo kapag nag apply ka for a graphic designer position, then do that. Kung meron kang resume for social media management position, then also create one. Para kapag nag-submit ka or nakikita ka ng opening na jobs, you are ready to submit your resume at any time. Alright. Now, the next one is emphasize results. So, I mentioned that briefly, briefly earlier. And now, I'm gonna mention that again because I wanted you to realize na very particular ang mga hiring managers pagdating sa achievements mo um, in your past experience. Pero kung wala kang past experience, then it's fine. You don't have to worry about that for now. Kung ito yung first job na a-applyan mo. Next one, if you have several experiences already, instead of writing per company, alright, write down experience per skill. Alright, like kagaya nito, dalawa pa lang yung experience niya. So, ang nilagay niya is per company. Alright? Pero kung halimbawa, sampo na yung company <laughs> na pinag-applyan mo, you don't have time to put every all those 10 here. So, instead of doing that, what you can do is to, in, um, ang title dito, graphic designer, and then put in the companies that you work for. So, bali, i-invert mo lang yung order. Alright? And then, the next one is remove the objective statement. Yung kadalasan nakalagay, like, this executive profile is fine, but yung, yung objective statement, you can remove that already. It's outdated and very awkward sa mga panahon ngayon. Um, and then, keep this in mind. Um, you're not looking for a job, in essence you are actually looking to make an impression and bring in more revenue for your personal brand. So, treat yourself as a brand para mas seryoso ka into creating a name in the industry for yourself. Alright? And then, if you have time, create a professional website or a portfolio. You should have an online space to showcase your work. So, it's really advisable to do that. You can try creating one using Wix or Squarespace. I'm actually working on a tutorial already about how to create your Wix portfolio or how to create your portfolio on Wix. So, whatever that is. But I I'm sure you know <laughs> and understand what I exactly mean. So, do that. And if that's a little bit difficult for you for now you know, and you wanted to have an online presence, I would recommend creating a Facebook page, an Instagram account, LinkedIn account, very important, a Twitter account, or a Pinterest account. Those are the common social media platforms where you can put in or where you can save your work para mas madali mong maipakita sa mga clients mo in the future. And of course, you can add the links to your resume. So instead of your landline number or mobile number, you don't want to do that if you are um, working in home-based, uh, you, you have a home-based career um, and you have clients abroad. So they're not going to call you using your landline. Instead, you will need to provide your Skype ID or, of course, your 
portfolio. So, your website and all that. And then, um, include relevant degrees only. So, halimbawa, nag apply ka as a writer. Of course, hindi mo na ilalagay na nag-aral kang mag-bake ng cupcakes. Diba? So, it's not, it's not related to the job that you are applying for. So, you can omit that. You have to include as well your courses or certifications na related din doon sa pinag a mo ng trabaho. And there is no reason to put your grades or your GPA if this is not the first job that you are applying for. If you are not fresh out of college, then you don't have to put your GPA in your resume. So, ayon. Um, I... There's another thing that I will teach you as well. You can put a hyperlink sa resume mo if you want to download it as a PDF file. You can add one hyperlink. So let's say, for example, um, you want to hyperlink this website, then you can do it. All right. Just highlight and click here and then put the link. So it says really... Uh, I'm sure hindi ito maglilink somewhere kasi reallygreatsite.com. So, maybe I can add my blog, kunyari. Okay, and then click apply. Alright, and then pag nag-send ito as attachment na PDF, um, mag, mag, makiklik na siya. So, you can only add one. And as of the moment, wala pang mail to na hyperlink. So, hindi pa pwedeng hyperlink ang email address kapag gumagawa ka ng resume using Canva. Alright. So, that's it for now. Um, oh, yeah. Before I forget, there's another thing that I can teach you. Um, there's a new update in Canva and that's to connect your Dropbox account. So, pwede na. What you can do, maybe you want to change your, your photo and your photo is in Dropbox. Then, you can do that already. Just click on Apps. And, my option na dito for Dropbox. Ah, uh, wala pa di... Ay, there you go. And, siya. And, what you need to do is just to click on Upload from Dropbox. And, kung logged in ka na, mag-show dito yung mga files mo. If hindi pa, it will ask you to log in. Alright. So, that's it for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you could subscribe. Click the bell so that you will be notified when another video is up. And I'm really, really thankful that you have supported this channel and also especially the resume series. I'm I'm looking at um, developing other topics in the future. And again, I'm op very open to suggestions. So let me know what you wanted me to film and what you wanted me to work on so that I can prepare for that. Thank you again for visiting my channel and if you think you have a friend who might need these videos, feel free to share it with them. And you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye!